The La Jolla Police Department probably sees more than their share of police pursuits, and that's because Highway 83, which is the main drug and human smuggling corridor, runs right through the city. And even though there's been an increase in law enforcement, police are still seeing a pursuit just about every other day. Police pursuits are unpredictable. La Jolla police released this dash cam video Tuesday of a human smuggling attempt back in May. The high speed police chase ended with one person dead and 16 people in the hospital. Not all pursuits are the same. Uh, we got different factors, different circumstances. La Jolla Police Chief Giovanni Hernandez says smugglers traffic drugs and immigrants through his city. When spotted, they are more likely to lead police on a chase. We see them uh, almost every day. Dangerous behavior these drivers display weighs heavy on an officer's decision making. Pursuits pose a threat to not just the drivers on the road, but to the cargo they carry. It's a, a fast paced decision making when you decide to engage. About three weeks ago, the Department of Public Safety started an operation to curtail drug and human smuggling along the Texas-Mexico border. Although DPS is not releasing specifics on the surge, a noticeable amount of additional troopers are in western Hidalgo County. I have not seen a decrease in crime yet. Of course, this operation has been only in place for three weeks. This room full of marijuana is proof that the increase in boots on the ground is leading to more drug seizures. They're just waiting for the right moment the right opportunity and they got their operatives out there looking at us, scouting us. Hernandez hopes the additional law enforcement will give smugglers a reason to stop using his city for illegal activity. And if you happen to be on the road when one of these pursuits passes by, please recommend to not get involved, just move out of the way and let police pass. In La Jolla, Nadia Glendo, Action 4 News.